Okay. Off and running again here at the Irish Open. John Jennings of Wales up against Ireland's Pauline Beattie. Pauline fresh from her UK Open victory last month. Playing with pink bowls, and John playing with the blue bowls. Let's start here from Pauling. Very good. Flyer there. So you had Pauline's bowling on here. Pauline's just managed to settle quicker than John so far this this end. I'm just going to make sure he gets in there with this one. So we'll be dropping. Big count in the first end is good here. Yeah, good reply. John playing with a slightly straighter bowl. Pauling. Playing with some heads are like Tiger. From what I can see. Pauling is quite reached with that one. Tiger, definitely, yeah. Definitely, uh, Definitely plenty of uh, Swiffics being called at the hotel last night. Oh, good shout there from John. Just I'm seeing it's only one down there on the first end. So one to Pauline. going to say we are back here in, in uh, April for the Belfast Open Pairs on the Friday and then the World Masters on the weekend. Currently taking reserves on the reserve list there. We have filled that event up. We still have entries available for some of our other competitions. Take a look at our website, shortbackplayerstour.com. When we finish here this weekend, we turn our attentions to Norway, Norwegian Open. Good start again from Pauline. Very consistent with those first two bowls, as she was at Chelmsford for the UK Open. Just struggling at the moment with his weight. Oh, I'll take full advantage. I would think that might just be too wide there. Yeah, it doesn't like it's not being too wide there. Positions in John's favour, but Pauline just looking to drop round in the count and behind. Really good there. John's going to have to hold the ball again. Not one for any heavy bowl, John. Just slip through, will be a count of three to Pauline. Mm -hmm. 
Let's get the umpire to look at that one. I'll get his free to Pauline though. I'm just waiting for the umpire to. So that while that's happening, I can just show you the other mats in play here. 34 mats in play this weekend. Great venue here at Belfast Indoor Bowls Club. We've also got some mats in play up top. Don't forget, if you have got any questions, please let us know. Let us know where you're watching from as well. And just confirmation there, three shots to fall in. It's a 4-0 lead after two ends. Those first two bowls working for him. Then up short again. Pauline will pounce and drop in for two here. No doubt about that. Better bowl here. Yep, very good. Looking for shot. That's in for shot. Just putting the pressure back on Steve, uh, on John, sorry. <coughs> Down. Just plays the draw. Ooh, very accurate. Just not finding it at the moment. Just seeing what the situation is, doesn't want to move the jack or sit her shot bowl down, so it'll just be a perfect draw here inside John's bowl. Close, it's not made John's shot any easier. His foot there, just going to see if he gets onto the outside. His bowl. Close. Just got the wrong side of it. One shot to Pauline. I'm just keeping the pressure on there. Five nil after three ends. Good start again from Pauline. So, so consistent with those first two bowls. Putting you under pressure. John's just been struggling with first two bowls in reply. Better, better start from John now. Thank you. 
Ooh, just over the pace there, I'm looking to just move that jack back, she has, very good. Change things on the back kind of paint, that's made things any easier at all for him. No, it hasn't. Certainly not any easier for John now. I think it's a bit worse. Um, Pauline's got the position. So just let's slip by here. Uh, her forehand, she's left handed. Nice and wide. That's good. Just drop round here and there, very good. Even better than seeing the cow, which it could well be. If it falls over, it will be. Now, John's only really got the, the hit on the forehand now. Going to have to play it. Let's hold with weight. Played it with just an arriving pace. Yeah. Well, again, we'll just flip down on this forehand. We'll tuck the jack round, make two or three. That'll be good. We'll just be too out too wide for this. John's got to be a little bit careful. Hasn't got anything over this side. That's where the jack's going. Trying to follow Pauline down, I think that's just going to hang off as well. Just played it over the weight. Right. Maybe it's one or two. Yeah. Let's get the other guy to have a look. Could be two. I'm just waiting for confirmation of the this one or two to Pauline. I mean, just running away with this one at the moment. John's got to try and get his first couple of bowls working. So, uh, just the one to Pauline. Six nil after four ends, ten ends to be played. Oh, 
bit of room for John here. He's going to take full advantage. Just from that first one, a bit more weight in the area. Yes, a bit too much actually. Well, oh. John, this is your chance now. All on the pace here. Well, it's in for shot. Not going to put the pawn in with too much pressure, just drawing away here. With the forehand side for her, seem for shot. Yep, very good. John's going to try and get in there on that side with the jack as well. Play it with the right weight. Will hold out if that's too heavy, which this one's going to do. Right, Really good actually. One thing we are finding with the mats here, particularly again with this show mat here, if you do get to play over the weight, you do need to be fairly direct. So I can just beat her own one, which she's done. Well, I'm not overly happy with that. It's another, another shot. But Interesting selection from John. She was in. Put it down to one. One shot to Pauline. Halfway through now. Seven nil. It's a better start from the morning. Well, to the last end. I'm just going to reply back here. Look short. We struggled in this match and kept in the score. from John. Still, still one down. Way back position. And we'll just let's skip by again. Yep. So we'll top right round here. And we can get a bit of the jack. Oh, very good. Three of that. John in all sorts of trouble. And switching to the forehand. Just to rest off one of those. Yeah, very good. We well have got him there for shot. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, yeah it is a shot. And good bowl from. Yeah, like Pauline will just reach down. It's the bowl. Got it. Very good. Yeah, John's expression says it all now, I think.
take was a good goal from John, but it did sit there, giving Pauline an opportunity. Yeah, B. John's having a good look at this. This is really the, the game here. He needs to cut this down. Can't be dropping a four. Going 11 0 down. I think that's going to be too much. There, then it is four shots, so 11 nil to Pawnee. Really turning the screw here. Just not really giving Pauline much of those first two bowls. Pauline's been able to control the end. First two bowls, so important at this level. It's one in where Pauline didn't get there and John didn't really take full advantage of that. Joining us currently 11 0 to Pauline Beatty after six ends. Still again here, just got the gap. Holding one, Pauline. So we'll just let's drop on that black, uh, the back blue bowl. Can you see it? Yep. There we go in for two. So I'm just trying to just move that jack back a few inches. It's too wide. Just putting John under so much pressure every end. And two shots to Pauline. 13 0 after seven. That's a loose one to start with. I'm sure, she'll sure correct that. Better here. <clears throat> Second, the chain to the backhand.
quite reaching. Or we'll probably switch again. So it'll be her forehand. No, just going to stick to the backhand. Just draw down again. Our own ball, or they're both there. Want it to be underneath that, or onto that ball fall. A bit more aggressive here with this one. That's the jack. Got it. Yeah, very good. Certainly has been putting bowling from ball in so far. Been putting pressure on John all the way. Oh, did get a bit of chalk, but John will get on the scoreboard here. I'm going to make this free. All on the way now. Not quite, I don't think. Two shots to. Yep, yeah, two shots. Two John. Yeah, I'm going to be happy to get on that scoreboard the way that Corny's been playing. Start well his first bowl here. Oh, very good start, yeah. That's good. Oh, we'll look to beat that bowl. She has done. Very good. Slightly short from Pauline here. Just to send him one more to play. John's going to try and get as much as he can. I don't know when the shots might come into this. Drawing away again. Very good to be hauling. So I'm just trying to drop onto those two bolts close here. Last bolt shot. John, two down. And then just try and draw around. Yeah, just trying to push the shot ball through. Yeah, very good. So that'll be shot to Pauline. Last end to come. This will be the, the last match we stream. We might look to stream one more potentially later on today. Players will be playing. This is the players' third game. We're just about to go on and play the fourth match of the day. The last one, last one today. I 
And as we come back tomorrow, play the last group game, and then we're into the knockouts. John's just not been able to find some consistency. Calling's really punished him here in this one. Okay, so John's just still struggling. Shake of the head. That's a ball from Pauline. Not to get the shot here, which looks good. Then just look at the angles to see what's possible. I don't think there's much there for him to play out here. Just a draw. You can try and get the jack over the far side. Or sort of over to his bowls over here. I think that would be very easy to do. Yeah. Not an easy shot. Looking here as to what to, what to play. I'm settling in the backhand, looking to play underneath, looking for the jack. Been fairly tight with his bowls. Yes, I think he's just, just over here. So that is the match to Pauline. Really two or three there. But thank you very much for joining us. And we'll Look forward to seeing you again for more coverage of the Irish Open. Brought to you by the Shortman Players Store. Thank you.